What's up, guys? This is Ryan McCartan, and this is my Nick and Disney TV interview. So let's. Uh, I first started acting when I was eight years old. Uh, when I was like six, seven, eight, around that age, I played a lot of sports. Um, and I actually got diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. Um, a lot of kids can, can make athletics and diabetes work. For some reason, I couldn't balance that out. Uh, so I ended up quitting all my sports. I didn't really know what to do. And then I found acting. Uh, I did a little show at a hole in the wall theater in Minneapolis, Minnesota, which is where I'm originally from. And the rest is history. I've been acting ever since. I've been singing my whole life, singing since I could talk. Uh, I would sing Somewhere Over the Rainbow from Wizard of Oz with my sister, who also sings and acts. Um, and I picked up the guitar, I think, when I was in sixth grade. Um, and I've been singing and playing guitar and writing music uh, ever since then, since I was like 12. <sighs> when I landed the role of Diggy on Livin' Maddie, I my life changed. I mean, it was it was craziness. I actually came out to Los Angeles in the first place because I was testing for another Disney pilot that I actually didn't end up booking. Um, a year and a half later, I I ended up booking a Disney recurring uh, gig, and I, I was so excited because I came out here to work for Disney in the first place. Um, it's a great company. It's it's a it's one that I've always wanted to work for. Um, so I'm really glad that now I got my shot. Very excited. Uh, Dove's great, you know, and um, I think everyone you talk to would say this, her vivacious energy, her bubbly personality, her intellect, her wit, um, her comedic timing, and her emotional presence. You know, she, she possesses all the goods you need to really sort of make a show go. Um, so it's really exciting having her at the helm of this and being able to work with her. It's inspiring, it's humbling, um, and quite frankly, it's just a lot of fun. You know, our set is, is I honestly believe this, one of the best in Hollywood. I mean, I've, I've worked on a couple other shows, and, and nothing against them. You know, great vibes there, too. But this, this vibe is different. Um, it's a very familial atmosphere. Um, you know, whether you're on the show for 30 seconds or 30 episodes, you, you feel like you're a part of the family. It's a really beautiful thing. And that, com to be completely honest, doesn't exist everywhere you work. Um, so I think all of us feel very lucky to uh, be a part of this incredible show. You know, uh, Miggy got such an overwhelmingly awesome response after we uh, released the first episode. Um, there's definitely more Miggy to come, uh, but I'm not going to tell you exactly what's going to happen because, come on, that just ruins uh, all of the surprise elements of everything, but... It'll keep you on your toes. It's a, it's a cool little flirtation ship, we call it, um, that we're building off of. And, you know, stuff happens down the line. You'll see. You know, uh, everyone that we work with, we're all professionals. And, uh, you know, to be completely honest and completely frank, you know, when, when you look at sort of the history of, of Hollywood, uh, you know, co-stars date all the time uh, so you know what me and Dove have is really special and and you know we are having a lot of fun with it and it means a lot to us and um, I think the people who work with us can see how much we mean to each other um, and that's all that really matters you know we're happy so they're happy and uh, otherwise it's just business as usual we come to work we do our job it's all good That's a tough one. I think I would want to be Shia LaBeouf's part from Even Stevens. All of the antics they pulled, him and Beans and his friends and stuff, you know, teasing his older sister and all that, that just looked like so much fun, right up my alley. 
I think that would be my answer, even Stevens for sure. You know, everyone definitely does have a process, and everyone's process is very unique. Um, I, I, I try to keep mine really simple and really organic because I think that yields the most um, conducive results. So, you know, I'll, I'll look at the script, you know, five minutes before we start shooting, make sure that I have all the words exactly down, make sure I know exactly what points I really have to hit, you know, what's the purpose of this scene, what am I trying to say, what am I trying to convey, what does the audience need to hear. Um, as far as getting into character, that, that really does sort of happen organically. You know, it's like I'm Ryan until they yell action, and when they yell action, I'm Diggy, and I'm just part of that world. And uh, um, that's sort of a fast-paced way of doing it. Uh, you're really sort of thinking on your feet, but that's the area that I think I exist the best in. Um, and so that's always how I've operated. So I'll touch on that a little bit. You know, what Dove and I have is, is really very special. Um, we're both at very exciting points in our life, personally, occupationally, emotionally, all of that. Um, and so to be able to share everything that we have with someone else, um, with each other, is, is really, really cool. We have a lot of fun, um, and it sort of just feels like everything we touch turns to gold. You know, we just, we, we're, we're, we're really happy. That's kind of the bottom line. Um, it's, it's a really incredible thing that we have going, and uh, I, I'm not going to speak for her, but I'm very happy. <laughs> Yeah, this is actually kind of exciting. Um, Andy Fickman, who also directs Live and Maddie, is directing the world premiere of Heather's the Musical here in Los Angeles. If you know the movie Heather's with Christian Slater and Winona Ryder, uh, in the late 80s it came out, and I'm Christian Slater's part. I'm playing JD in that musical. Um, so we're very excited about that. It's going to be a lot of fun. You know, they actually had no idea what they were going to do with my character um, at the very beginning. When I first got booked, they said, you're probably going to come back, but we honestly don't know. So they only signed me for that one initial episode and said, we might be calling you, we might not. Uh, it was kind of scary. But um, when they saw the chemistry between me and Dove and, and when they sort of saw the way that we played off of that whole flirtationship, um, they, really, they really sort of saw that they kind of struck gold and they've been... Uh, They've been continuing to write that in, and they've really enjoyed the response to the whole Miggy thing. Um, so, so they're keeping me around, which is really exciting. Absolutely. It's in the cards. Um, it's kind of in the making. I'm obviously recording uh, a lot of just sort of videos of some of my stuff, getting it out there. Um, I have huge ambitions uh, as an artist, not just as an actor. You know, I, I want to... I want to write music and sing and play venues and release an album and direct movies and all of that stuff. Um, so, so an album is definitely in the cards. It's definitely something I'm interested in. And if you guys like my music, uh, you know, the only way to really get that stuff going is with the support from fans. So I'll keep putting it out there and we'll see what happens. You know, like I said a little bit before I touched on this, our cast is incredible. Uh, that's sort of the bottom line. It's like you, you walk in no matter who you are, no matter what you're doing, you feel like you're a member of the family, you're treated with respect, uh, and and it's very obvious right away that you're cared for. Um, and that's, that's very important to have a work environment that's going to be a success. Um, you know, everyone's on the same page, and, and it's a good page. It's a page that exists in the realm of respect, of understanding, of compassion, um, it's it's one of the it's one of the most incredible casts I've ever worked with. That's that's my entire artistic career on on stage, film and television, anything. It's every everyone is so incredible. Um, so I feel very lucky to work with them. Well, uh, there has been a little bit of talk that we might sing together on the show, but no promises. Um, obviously, that sort of thing takes time to work in and to figure out the plot point that would make Diggy and Liv ever sing together. Uh, but it, it's, it's been talked about, and we'll see what happens. Um, 
Dove and I personally, you know, we're, we're working on a couple songs to see if we can release a duet. Um, so look for it. It's definitely something that we want to do. Uh, so that's all, all the questions you had for me. Um, I really enjoyed doing this interview, and uh, I hope everyone who's watching it had a great time listening to me blabber on about myself. <laughs> Thanks a lot.